In a bid to curb the methane release from cow dung, a Norwegian company is now testing its plasma technology at a dairy farm in Britain. The firm hopes that the technology will aid in trapping the greenhouse gas and mitigate the hazardous effects of climate change. Take a look at this next report. This cow dung is about to be zapped with artificial lightning to reduce the amount of methane it releases into the atmosphere. Norwegian company N2 Applied is testing its plasma technology at this 200 cow dairy farm in Britain. They hope the technology can help trap the potent greenhouse gas and mitigate the effects of climate change. Chris Puttick is N2 Applied's business development director. In essence, we're harnessing lightning to zap livestock slurry and lock in harmful emissions like methane and ammonia. Uh, and as we know, um, methane, the potent greenhouse gas, uh, livestock are, are absolutely an emitter of that and, and we're here to solve that challenge. The first step in the process is to scrape the raw material or excrement from the barn floor and put it through the N2 machine. So with this machine, we are creating plasma which is basically like lightning. And we create that in this section of the machine and force it through into the slurry, which is in this uh, second stage of the, of the process, uh, which is the absorption process. And that's where we're locking in both methane and ammonia emissions. So the process, when we, when we add nitrogen from air to, to the slurry, it changes the environment uh, to, to stop methanogenesis, basically. So it drops the pH down to just below uh, six and, um, and we're catching that early so it, it stops the, the breakdown of those methane microbes that then release the gas to the, to the air. What comes out of the machine is an odorless brown liquid called NEO, a nitrogen enriched organic fertilizer which can be used to boost production of crops. Puttick says independent tests show their technology reduces ammonia emissions from slurry by 95% and methane emissions by 99%. The company is now looking to scale out their technology across the UK livestock sector. Agriculture is the largest source of methane emissions caused by human activity. That's according to the United Nations Environment Programme. Livestock accounts for the vast bulk of that, with cattle leading the field. Methane has 10 times the heat trapping potential of carbon dioxide, but it stays in the atmosphere for a shorter time. That means that reducing methane emissions can have a more rapid impact on the climate. At the COP26 climate summit, over 100 countries committed to the Global Methane Pledge, which aims to reduce methane by 30% by 2030. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.